Welcome or welcome back friends and family. I am so excited to show you guys today's video on our master bedroom home makeover. Nate and I have experienced a huge life transition this summer. We have moved across the country and are now living on the east coast near the beach. So a little bit warmer weather down here and we are actually really, really enjoying it. So um, this is the first video of many to come as I personalize our home kind of to our style. So the first thing I'm gonna be doing to get our room ready for the project and painting is to take out the outlet covers and then I'm gonna take this Alex Ultra caulk and go ahead and caulk the trim so that it gets rid of that little gap in between the floor and the trim board. So I'm just gonna be doing that. I did not show you all of the trim that I did this on. I just showed enough to kind of give you guys a concept of what I was doing, but it really gives the trim kind of a custom home built look and it just makes it very seamless. Now that I am done caulking the trim, I'm gonna be taking my ultra white paint in, I believe this is a semi-gloss finish. I do like to paint my trim in a semi-gloss finish just because it really does help with any kind of cleanup. It makes it very, very durable. And the trim that is here, it just was very, very dirty and felt worn. I don't know if the owners did like a matte finish, but it didn't have any shine to it at all which then again makes it very very hard to clean so i'm just going to be going over all of the trim with this semi-gloss finish and i'm going to just be painting away i didn't put down any painter's tape towards the floor just because i am going to be very careful and the angle brush that i'm using just helped me be very precise in my motions and my painting so it really wasn't a huge deal even if paint did get on our floors our floors are plank vinyl and so if the paint dries you just literally like scratch it off and it comes off so easily so um, I was just gonna kind of save on tape and time and just be more cautious and take my time in painting the trim So there are a lot of different things that I absolutely love about our home and just really appreciate. And one of them is how many windows our home has. I love the sun and that's part of the reason why we moved to the East Coast and I just really, really appreciate it. So um, we have these little indents where the windows go. So I am just gonna kind of give a little bit of a pop and kind of a distinct feature to the window and paint the inside little groove here, the ultra white as well, just to give it a little bit distinct framing. After I got done with the trim work with my brush, I'm gonna take my little roller. I love these little rollers from Home Depot. And I just am gonna roll the rest of it just to kind of give it a seamless look. And it just really went on very, very good. It covered really well. I didn't really need to do a second coat and it just gave such a fresh pop. One of the things that you will notice as I kind of show you some of the projects that I worked on in a new home to kind of personalize it is this house has a lot of character and unique features about it. One of which is this window seat area. And I really appreciated the whole transformation of this room, but just being able to trim with the white and then also update and give it a very crisp and clean white color on top of more of the dull and dirty white it just was so satisfying again this house has so many windows 
Nate and I usually in the day we don't even need to have any lights on just because it's that light they have skylights all the things so we're really really appreciating the amount of natural light that this house gives and like I said it is so satisfying to see this window seat go from like a dull white to a really crisp and bright and clean white The next thing I'm going to be doing is trimming with the wall color, which is Swiss Coffee from Home Depot. It is in the Bear brand, and this pretty much is going around our entire house. So something that is unique to me and that I really appreciate is using more of an off-white color for walls and then a white trim. I really enjoy the crisp and clean aesthetic it gives, as well as... I just usually use the wall color as kind of a backdrop to my decor. So I will typically typically have my walls and paint colors very neutral and then I will use my decor as the pops of color in the rooms. So I just continue to trim along the trim and again um, the paint on the trim was completely dry so even if this, this paintbrush is very very specific so I didn't really have to correct a lot of um, like drips down but if I did again I would just wipe it away and it just came off so easily so I don't use pretty much any tape um, in this project I just kind of take my time and go with my paintbrush to um, do the trim color the owners before us really liked the color gray and so they have like two tones of gray they have a light gray and a darker gray throughout the home and so I pretty much spent a lot of time painting this Swiss coffee color in most of the rooms. Again, we're starting in the master bedroom, but I do appreciate more of a warm color palette when I design rooms or kind of add decor. That's just me personally. I think the thing that's cool about when you own a home is you really do get to make it your own. And we all prefer sometimes different styles. So. Totally fine, but again, this, this color on the walls is called Swiss Coffee from Home Depot. After I got done trimming, I did take my roller and then started to roll the walls. So something also unique to our home, which I really appreciate, is the very high ceiling. So most of the rooms in our home are vaulted and it is really, really nice to have that feature just because it does make the room feel larger, it feels more spacious, it just has a really, really nice feel to the entire space. Um, however, this was my first house doing like vaulted ceilings and painting that so it's almost like you're painting two different areas. I would paint around like the base of the room and as far as I could paint with like my little extender or like standing on a chair and then the other part I had to get like an eight foot ladder um, to reach the very tippy top because some of the vaults are like 15 feet at the highest peak. So it was a little bit of a new experience for me when it comes to painting. I am a very DIY type of girl. So this was definitely a new experience and it did take longer to do the room just because obviously you had more 
wall space to cover. But very fun project. The outcome just turned out so nice. It just completely changed the look of the room. You and me are moving. Make sure we get through this. Let's just keep on dancing as one. You and me are moving. Make sure we get through this. Let's just keep on dancing as one. Cue the entrance of my amazing holy hunk of a husband, Nathan. He is the best. So he actually just got done doing a pretty big work project. So it really was ideal for our life transition and yeah, just life transition to the East Coast. And he had a lot of time this week to help with projects. And so I really appreciated his help. We kind of tag team with some of these room transformations. He likes to put his head in the camera. In fact, I was like joking with him about how many times I should say, like how many times he does this in my videos. It's quite a few. So if you can count how many times he puts his face in the camera, comment down below how many times he makes his appearance that way. But he did a lot of um, work with filling in the nail holes from the previous owner. There weren't a ton, but just to kind of have a clean slate, he helped with that. And then he also helped with some of the trim work. I appreciated his help in this project and it was just kind of fun for us to work as a team to complete this room because it was our bedroom. So it was fun. Here is my artwork of W and N for our bedroom, Whitney and Nate.
So if you notice, the light is definitely lighter in this shot just because it is, it is later that evening. This room took around eight hours to complete from start to finish with all of the steps. And so this was a, this was a longer day um, of projects, but it was so worth it. And yeah, so Nate and I stood up very late and just finished our room um, so that it would just be done and we can move on to the next project the next day. So this is the next day, Nate and I finished painting the room. And now I'm just gonna do some steam mopping just because whenever you're painting or have different projects like that, your floors typically get pretty dirty. One of the things I really like about this home, again, there's so many things I appreciate about this home. I just feel so grateful to even be here. It feels like a dream. I just feel, I don't know, I just feel incredibly blessed that I am in a warmer climate and state and it just, I'm a happy girl. So. Anyway, I got this steam mop from Shark and Nate jokes that we like had to buy a bigger house just so that I could steam mop and I absolutely like guys, you need to stop watching this video, put it on pause and run to Target and get this steam mop because it is so great. I used it so many times during our projects and I will be using it a lot in my cleaning videos, but it really does just get a ton of like dirt and yeah just dirt and stuff off the floors and it just feels so clean because it's steaming your floors as it cleans so highly recommend and then you just pop the mop head in the wash and wash it up and you can reuse it so really cool so um, I am just unpacking and then I'm also going to be moving um, some of the things out of our bedroom so that Nate and I can move our bed now this bed is actually unique because it is a split king and it is adjustable so um for future pregnancies lord willing we got this bed so that you can actually in incline the head position and also incline your feet and you can customize it so it has been so nice to after a good hard day of work to go to bed and put your feet up like the best it is so great so i will try and link that below we got it at overstock.com and had a wonderful friend store it that lived in the state that we're in who is the best so we're just going to be parting the beds this is a pretty large rug so this is a 9 by 13 i believe rug and i mean it's it's massive so target had a sale i think it was like 230 some dollars if i remember correctly but it really was very cheap for that size. We unrolled it and we found these like little like copper color stains on it, which we were kind of surprised and a little disappointed because I didn't know if I'd have to return the entire thing. So I just got out my carpet cleaner and did a few little swipes over those spots and they actually came out completely, they came out very, very easily, which I was very happy about because that meant that we didn't have to return it and we could just keep it. And so once I get done washing those spots, Nate and I then put the mattresses back in place over the rug and it was just so nice to have this rug here. Just when we get out of bed, it will be a nice soft place for our feet and it also just helps to ground the bed. Again, there's my husband's wonderful face. And then Nate and I took my dresser and brought it in from the moving truck and it was so nice to get our clothes in the house just because it just kind of brought back some normalcy and being able to kind of get into those rhythms. I also have to give my amazing husband a shout out. He like is such a good Tetris person when it comes to storing and like um, putting all of our items in the moving truck, nothing got broken, which was an absolute miracle because I had so many mirrors, I had so much like delicate decor items and he just did an amazing job like storing them all so they were safe. And yeah, so this is one of my many mirrors 
and I'm just gonna be putting up some like a little bit decor I change it later but it was just kind of nice to have some like personalized pictures in there Next, Nate and I put together our headboard and this was like very satisfying because before Nate and I actually got married, I I joke because I'm such a, a little bit of a bunny when I do things, like I have a vision and then I just buy it. So I bought us a king size headboard like two years ago when we got married and we had only had like a queen bed and so this is the first time that we actually have a king and so it fits perfectly and yeah it's just so satisfying so yeah so we're just kind of making it a little bit this isn't actually how it ends up to be but it again when you're moving it just brings a little bit more normalcy and things come together in time you will notice i have a ton of different outfits in this video because this wasn't a one day project this was over multiple weeks i think it took like three weeks for it to completely get kind of settled and filtered from beginning to end of this video so in no way, if you've just moved and are getting your house kind of more personalized and custom to how you like it and what feels homey and warm and safe and welcoming to you, don't put yourself on a timeline. Just do projects as you can, listen to your body. We all have limits. And so being able to honor those limits as we do projects and as we um, build our home and work in our home, like that just, it takes, certain amount of energy and so don't hold yourself to extreme time frames of when everything needs to get done just work when you can and things will get done when they're supposed to get done next i'm adding a little olive tree to our room i really like this olive tree i'll link it below but i just think it brings this very like simple and calming beautiful splash of greenery and kind of brings the outdoors indoors and then I thought it would be cute to put two of our wedding photos in this little corner I do typically do a rule of three when it comes to styling a home so each photo I put each photo which is one two and then the tree is three so that's kind of how I group items and make sure that there are groups of three or five just as long as they're odd I actually took these pillows are from our old couch, but they're just very like neutral creamy colors. I'm going to add a little bit more of a coastal flair just because we are by the coast now, which is so delightful and like a dream come true. I end up putting on this new duvet cover.
I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know I really enjoyed making it for you guys. Feel free to like and subscribe. Be sure to subscribe so you don't miss any future content. Love you guys so much. Have a great day and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.